race two for the 2021 International GT Open looked a little like this. Your pole sitter, the Audi in the middle, uh, could do absolutely nothing to hold on to that lead as Andy Suchek in the Porsche Letna racing car was able to swoop past him and take the lead going into turn one and two. Nomoto in the green Lamborghini via Saka also able to get up there as we ride it on board with Patrick Kaprinski forced out wide there. We had a spinner in the background in the GT Cup, the 44 Porsche forcing a couple of cars out wide there. They were able to get going, but it was a troubled race for that car, causing some of this action, which meant Andy Suchek lost the lead. A slight collision with second place man Oli Milroy allowed Nomoto through to take the lead, and he was not happy about that at all with that slower 44 car. Further back in the pack, the Bentley wasn't having a great race compared to where it was yesterday. The Team Lazarus winners were having to fight their way up the field. Nomoto then came into the pit lane, was one of the first. Then we had Christian Clean, who only made it three corners in yesterday's race, managing to work his way up to win his category later today. And then Al Faisal Al Zubair took over in that Lechner Racing Porsche and sadly lost the lead to the Lamborghini. And there was Christian Clean making his way up through in that McLaren JP Motorsport car. But it was the number 63 Lamborghini who fought its way to the top of the timing screen and then pulled away to take the win here in France for the circuit Paul Ricard race two of the International GT Open. And here was your battle for second and third right into the final corner with Al Faisal Azubert just missing out to the Lamborghini in front of him. A wild race here for race two of the International GT Open.